All right, folks, we are going to be playing some standard tonight, seeing as how I actually need to learn standard for this invitational, and I've played all of, like, seven leagues. <laughs> um, I'm going to be playing Gruel Warriors first. We're going to run through the deck. But I do have three guests tonight uh, for my team, uh, Team Swish. We have Hannah, Andrew, and Noah behind me. Kind of cut off, but uh, no one cares. they're chilling out on the couch. Uh, they'll be critiquing me on all of my plays, telling me how bad I am at the game, so it's going to be really great. Uh, Andrew's played less things than you have. Oh, okay. I've played a little bit, actually. Oh, I've played a lot. Yeah, I know. I understand standard this much. Not this much. <laughs> this much. <laughs> So the I'm deck I'm going with is uh, Gruel Warriors. I did try out uh, Esper, Planeswalkers, Esper Hero. I also played a Sultai uh, in a league, and I played Jeskai Walkers. Uh, it's just not my play style, it feels like. Um, for the land base here, we got a couple Blood Crypts and one Overgrown Tomb for our status and statue. Uh, everything else is either the blue, uh, green, red, dual land, or mountains or the unclaimed territory. Um, we've got two Shocks, two Dire Fleets, four Strikes, four Growth... Chamber Guardians, four crawl har uh, two Crawl Harpooners, two Thorin Lieutenants, um, four Chain Whirlers, two Domries, four Spellbreakers, four Phoenix, uh, one Sarkin, two Hellkites, and then three Status Statues. I'm using the uh, Tim Wu list. Um, I'll, I've been trying to figure out a good list, and he has a really great list that I've seemed to like. So, and he's got a great write up on it too, and talks about uh, what he recommends. So. That seems pretty sweet. And on the side, we got a Shiv and Fire, uh, four Coils, three War Bosses, two Vivian Reeds, three Cinder uh, Vines, one uh, Collision Colossus, and then one Sorcerer Spyglass. He wasn't really impressed with the Spyglass, so that may become a fourth uh, Cinder Vines, uh, from what he was saying. So we'll see how that plays out. But we're going to run a league with this and uh, see how we do. I gotta say, I have lost more money playing standard than any other time I've played this uh, played this game. <laughs> That's how most people feel about standard. You just lose money. <laughs> I'm like, I just can't. Like, I don't have a deck that I enjoy yet, and so like, I just keep losing money. Like, I, every uh, the those seven leagues, I lost money on all seven leagues. So like, really disappointed. <laughs> Cause like, when I play modern, we win enough to where like I never lose money. Oh, and if anyone is curious on how I did at the uh, SCG Louisville, it's kind of uh, bittersweet. The trip itself was amazing. We got to do some distillery tours. Um, we got to check out uh, Maker's Mark and Willa Distillery. Got to check out the Highlands. Got some amazing food. So, like, overall, that part of the trip was just fantastic. Um, for the event itself, we had less than stellar results. Um, Went six and three uh, day one, so missed going to day two by one match. And two of those matches were really close, so I was kind of bummed out that we didn't make it uh, for that. But what can you do? Um, then I went uh, four and zero oh to start off day two in the classic, and then proceeded to go zero oh and four, which you know just just really good at this game. So that's how we go about it. <laughs> Okay. So I feel like I just want to run out the Spellbreaker and make it a 4-4, and I feel like they're going to have a hard time dealing with that, right? I agree. Yeah. Yeah, they have to use yeah, once you put the counter on it, it's very difficult to deal with. But you have to use two spells to get rid of it. Right. Or a chain lower plus a little spell, but it's mm -hmm. like five minutes now. And if it gets past next turn, we can actually put a status on it uh, to mess with them, too, if they go for the Chain Whirler route. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty sweet. And that Skarg and Hellcat were on the route to cast, too. And that's a Steam Ken. The card's dangerous, man. Hopefully I can Lightning Strike it on my turn. So I can save the statue for something else, but if not, we can use the statue. 
he'll be able to strike it because he can't make it anything more than a 3 3. Fair. There's no gut shot in this format. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I feel like, for the record, like the play speed in standard is so much slower that it takes me so much longer to get through a league. I like jumped on a league to try to finish it. I like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start a league at like ten thirty. I'll be done before midnight. And go to bed. I literally was up to like one a.m., one thirty, and I was like, this is miserable. Why is this league not over already? It's because the with the increased amount of walkers, the format is slowed down. Yeah, I mean, and I can't. All of our opponents are playing. I also can't do like turn three car and then my opponent just concedes, or they've blown up four of my lanes and I and I can't cast anything and then I concede. I wonder if our opponent understands they have to, you know, cast priority. They're working on it. They're working on it. You know, they're a solid two minutes behind already. They're thinking about it. But they're thinking. They'll get they're the thinking about whether or not they want to put it the, on the stack. Do I want the one one counter on the uh -huh. stupid? That's not, that's not even optional, right? Like, it's happening. Well, they're considering how badly they want it. Mm. It's not even a me. I know. <laughs> they're like, how do I miss this trigger? <laughs> Play paper magic. I can't. Oh, no. We don't. Ooh, they did it. Oh, my God. We're in business. Oh. And they just shot you? Oh, they're going to light us. <laughs> Right. And they got two mountains. Oh my gosh, we are so fortunate. Yeah, I think the game is over. I would say so. I'm just going to strike this. Why, would, why yeah. wouldn't we attack for see if they block? They're not going They're to. They're not going to block. They're at 20 still. I have a technical so we should just get Look, with how slow my opponent is right now, okay, I don't want to give. I want to give him the least amount of options. Yeah, I don't want them to go. Should I block? Should I not block? Mm, where are we at in this? This is kind of like how your games went last night, though. Actually, no, like, you didn't have any lands. <laughs> that's true, because I had all the four drops. Well, that's cool. I can, uh... I can hit that up with, uh... Status. Yeah. Statue. statue. That's so cool. Yeah, did he... Yeah, has priority? Yeah, I'm trying to... Oh, so he's got land on top of his library, so we're in good shape. Yeah. No, it's not even... Don't even shock. Don't even shock. Just hey, go to your turn. Just swing it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, the spell record is trampled. Yeah, and then you just... Status or oh, it's two damage. No big deal. And then just swing in, right? Well, I'm gonna have to uh, just statue it right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna statue it. So would have been technically correct to put a stopping ground tap there. No, I want to hold up the shock. Oh, hold the shock. shock. Yeah. shock I thought you were standard, standard master. Yeah, I thought already. you shocked the tutu already. It was naturally. Oh, my bad. No, I was hiding the overgrown tomb. And I played the gruel guildgate to start with because it was like the worst land because yeah. I don't have an option in that. Mm -hmm. And then I played uncan unclaimed territory this turn because I didn't feel like shocking myself either. So that's why yeah. stopping ground still in my hand. I feel like I should shock one of these. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Preservation of life total at this point. We know that they drew a land for turn. Right. And now I, I think. think we just drop Scarred and Hellkite, put a 1 1 counter on it, close okay. up the game. I think you give it haste and punch No, because we can shoot the anything they play. I, just I think I would. He just dies next turn. I don't know. He dies next turn regardless. Yeah, it, it's like it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But the safer place. Yeah, the safer Yeah, I'm not a fan of putting the haste because they didn't expedite our clock at all. Yeah. Alrighty, we got there. Alright, so I am working off of the guide that uh, Tim Wu has too. So he does uh, recommend if we're going to be going against uh, Mono Red that we uh, add in the Ship and Fire, the four coils in the Cinder Vine. And then we're going to be taking out uh, two Domri's. Pretty bad this take out the Sarkin, take out all the status statues, and then the two harpooners. Makes sense. Let's run it. I kind of like status statue though. I blew up a blew up that again. Yeah, blew up a frenzy. Yeah. yeah. That seems time. that seems dope. I mean, Center Vines is gonna blow it up too. I want more options. 
It looks like the only thing that's really changing if, we're, if we were going against the model red version that was on Chandra is that we're not bringing in the Cinder Vines and we're uh, keeping in two Harpooners and we're leaving in one status. They're probably still playing Chandra. They're just playing less than Frenzy. I mean, we only saw the Frenzy, so I'm just going to go off of that. Yeah, usually it's a 3-2 split in favor of Frenzy and there's another Frenzy on the board. Yeah. Chandra's strong, man. I gotta say, it's so strong. Chandra's really powerful, but people will realize it's like still just not as good as Frenzy. Right. Because Frenzy's just messed up. He's a solid hand. Yeah, you get removal spell, two drop, three drop. I mean, I think I like this hand. It's, it's a little late. It's a little late. I mean, no, 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 you're sure with the guild gate. Well, yeah, just but we have to gate. shock ourselves next turn. Yeah. We're really good at drawing the guild gate. Or we shock a, a land in now to hold up Shivan Fire. Uh, that does not seem worth it. That is not it. Well, no, no, because then the next turn we can play the root bomb, Greg. Yeah, but we could just knock shock ourselves and do that. Yeah. Hmm? No, because then the root bomb, Craig, comes in tent. Yeah, so like... I, I think getting that Thorn Lieutenant to play ASAP is more important, or the... Well, yeah, we're gonna, so we're going to have to shock something... If we want to preserve our life, we're just going to play the Blood Crypt, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then next turn we next can turn go... play the Craig. We can go root, uh, root round into either the Thorn or the Guardian. Yeah, I think, I think that's why I don't want to get the Guardian mm -hmm. shocked. Yeah. Yeah. So we can take over the game with that. And Lieutenant's really hard to answer for Battle Red. I mean, it's not. They just don't want to land strike it. They can't shock. I mean, yeah. They can use their seven I'm just like burns. I don't think so. You know, standard master. I just jam over. I you're, you are you calling yourself a standard master already? No, no, I, I, no I just said I play no. a lot of standard. That's usually standard like, master. Actually, standard I thought uh, Danny was standard master. <laughs> Four oh three weeks in a row. Sure. Yeah. Oh, man, I got RNG three times. That's my three match losses. I think we're just gonna drop in a blood crypt and shiv and fire the. Uh, I think we just play, play the guild gate. Play the guild gate. Okay. Sure. Because, like, if we have to, we'll take two to hit my curl and drop and because we always come to tap. Okay. And realistically, we're probably just putting in a Blood Crypt tap next turn anyway. Ooh, maybe not. Uh, maybe we're going to play a 4-4. Four, four. Well... I would play the I, Mountain I, and play a 4-4. Four, four nope, I'd rather play our own Chain Whirler. Because playing Spellbreaker in a 4-4, four, four, we get blown out by a removal spell. Okay. Or a burn spell. Okay. Okay, so we're just dropping Chain Whirler here? I think so. I don't want to lose to a shock. Because that happens, the game is like... Almost ends immediately. In the worst sure. case here, we just trade? Yeah, it's like... It makes it... If you just have a rule spell, you use the rule spell. Yeah, if Earth Orbs were standard league, we would take with that first strike. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> like Value City? They're down to two cards with the Lava Runner. Ew. Wait, they uh, What's they, the next though? They got a Lightning Strike and a Chandra. Chandra. And a Chandra, yeah. Seems so far. It seems, <laughs> it seems good. Seems so far. <laughs> I think we're just uh, running out Spellbreaker and I playing Spellbreaker. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Spellbreaker. Spellbreaker. Yeah. Let them hit us for one if they really want to attack. I'm going to go look one two right now. Makes it so they can't play Chandra effectively. Yeah, I think if he attacks, I think we block because like if he wants a lightning strike, then he can't cast the Chandra. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Like we have plenty of threats in our hand. I'm okay with trading. I'm like it's still two for one. I mean, I suppose so, but like. Yeah, I'm definitely blocking because yeah. like worst case scenario, we eat up two spells. Best case scenario, he plays a Chandra and we get to eat his Lava Runner for no reason. Right. So. Yeah, I think there's blocking is like very good here. So. Yeah, I don't think this deck is very expensive. So like, if I had to buy this deck, I, I would just buy it. You probably can just buy it with uh, the vendor. Just order all uh, Star City games. Just yeah, like just order them. everything, but the uh, but the lands. Since I already have the lands, mm -hmm. and I. Don't own any other card. <laughs> uh, I might. Nope. I do own a source for Spyglass. Bought that last week. Nice. You're in good shape. <laughs>
<laughs> Opponent's really struggling here. Oh, they finally let us go. They're trying to tilt you, Dewey. It's working. They're trying to what? Tilt you. I don't think I'm tiltable on this. I just don't care. <laughs> oh, they're showing me. That's fine. That's the finishing of my answer. Mm -mm. Okay, well, are we just killing Chandra here? Because we can just... I think so... We can swing, they may block it, and then we can strike it. Because Chandra just hits players, right? So he's tapped out, which yeah. makes it so the Growth Chamber Guardian's actually adapting it yeah. into a 4-4 four -four is extra appealing. Right. Because he can't respond. Well, we I don't can, think we can decide what we want to do after the swing, right? Like, cause no matter what, we're swinging. I think we're swinging to Chandra mm -hmm. regardless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do like adapting that uh, Thorn or the yeah. Thorn Chamber. Four fours are. Yeah, really this cool. turn that would be a really sweet play because then we have another one in hand. Because realistically, we can lightning strike it, the Chandra next turn, mm -hmm. and it doesn't. I mean, we're taking one extra point of damage. We're still at nineteen. Yeah, so. we're fine. Should be. I don't think there's any point in blocking. Well, if they do block, that's, that's where... That's just great for us. That's where lightning striking the Chandra may be more relevant, and then just dropping the Thorn Lieutenant. Yeah, that's also fine. So I, just, I, I think... Well, I don't, I don't need, I think even if they block, it's kind of irrelevant, because we can... It's Ultimate's at six, or at seven. But well, the ultimate's not what I care about. It's the extra cards they're getting. That's right. Because we have plenty of gas out. Right, exactly. So, like, just leaving them with just two cards in hand seems mm -hmm. sweet. So, because they didn't block, so interesting. Um, why did it die? Uh, I think he targeted oh. his own Chandra. He, no, he had to. We have hex proof. Oh, uh, spellbreaker. Yep. <laughs> That's so good. It's a I, cute interaction. It, it, I knew about the interaction with Shalai, but I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot spellbreaker thing. gives you hex proof. That is so good. That's amazing. I don't think I'm. So I guess it. we're playing uh, some rope chamber guardian and adapting. Yeah. Uh huh. I, yeah, I just <laughs> blanked on that interaction. Woo! I forgot that he just <laughs> it kills herself. Oh my gosh, that's so fantastic. Our yeah. opponent's dead. Yeah. It's yeah. over. I mean, they were dead, I think. We've got four fours all day. Yeah, we have just four Man, fours. Man, I'm telling you. Girl Spellbreaker. Impressive magic card. Powerful card. Land and Chain Whirler that they can't cast? So they're Solid. Yeah. Nice. Scoop it up. Alrighty. Cool Spellbreaker, stealing oh, games. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's a powerful card. What's up, Phoenix Chris? Thanks for joining. <laughs> yeah, we didn't realize that. So, that is awesome. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, this is the deck that I'm thinking about being on after talking to Noah and Andrew yesterday. Um, and I wouldn't even mind just buying it because it's so cheap. I know Danny and I have some of the cards. I know Danny is a place that has Phoenixes and Growth Chamber Guardians. Okay, if that's the case. But, I, but Andrew sounds like he's going to need them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So Danny's gonna, yeah, I forgot you're both going to be playing it. Yeah, this deck seems super solid. It seems like my style of deck. Yeah, the only thing I'd like maybe want to change is more Sark in this because I love the card, but. I'll keep this. Yeah, I don't think green source is for warriors, but like that's fine. You're basically a mono red deck. Mm -hmm. Oh, Phoenix Crest. Uh, heads up, Andrew might be joining us, um, which will then reduce the hotel costs. But then we would be increasing the uh, gas cost because then it would be splitting it between two cars. Unless we can get our hands on a six person car, but I don't know anyone that actually has a six person car for whatever reason. I mean, my mom technically has a mini minivan, but I doubt we can take that for the weekend. Reasonable. Does. These. I don't know what green deck he's on. I don't want to. This, just... this could be like literally anything. Yeah, so I don't want to run out the dire fleet here. No. If for no reason. Um, what's the uh, chance they have a flyer, though? The only reason they have a flyer is if they're on... Uh, Hydroid? Bam, or that or Batman range. Okay. So I guess whatever they're playing, it's a crisis deck, pretty much. It should be a crisis deck, so if that's the case, I think we just hold off an extra turn. Yeah. 
I don't think there's any there's real no reason to blow the harpooner for no reason or blow the daredevil for no reason. Alright, they're on a dom radar. So this is probably the green red sarkin deck that has like four sarkins in it. Do we want to put mm -hmm. Domri to to one? Is that worth it? It might be because they can just like play a big thing and make it fight. I mean, it, I mean, I think it'd be a four four, but yeah, it makes sense. Let's do that. We'll just we'll just beat it up. He's gonna play a dragon, I'm gonna cry. No, he's got his own spell breaker. This is a 4-4. Four, 5-4. Four. Oh, that's important. Ooh. Oh yeah, 5-4. Well, uh, this is awkward. Yeah, hopefully draw a chain really soon. Right. <laughs> um Uh you can Daredevil Lightning Strike the Domri. Yeah, that seems solid. Yeah, that seems okay. Is there yeah. Oh, it's a pirate. Yep, that one is a pirate. It's one of the few non-warriors. I really wanted... <laughs> this chamber was good with all the status to you, but like, no. Yeah, so we can daredevil and uh, first strike the spellbreaker. I think you just play the Hell Guys this turn. Okay. Is there any other color uh, creature types we should be naming? Uh, not that we can't cast now. Because, <laughs> like, the only other creature. We have pi Pirate, Dragon, and Phoenix. And those are all just red cards. Yeah, well, if it gets back to our turn, we get to. Possibly, we're going to ping off the Lanowar for sure. Mm. So he has some sort of burn spell. I'm going to take that hit. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't have room. He's playing his own. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Chain Whirler one time. Uh, so it's a 5-5? Five, five? No, uh, so what you can do is you can actually give the Hellkite yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Yeah. Give the Hellkite Death Touch and then shoot two things? Shoot the Spellbreaker in, the, in his Hellkite. That's, that's a that beautiful is. play right there. It's only three, man. Oh, it's only three? I believe so. Or is it four? That's four. That's four. I am not actually the card enough. Okay, I'm very impressed with this card. I'm just saying. Skargan, okay? Yeah, okay. It's very Sure. So actually, this is really good because we can uh, harpoon over the. Uh, the Phoenix the and Phoenix. strike it down. Yeah. And you can harpoon the Phoenix and then shoot it down with the Hellkite. Oh, yeah, we can do that You can too. kill the token of the Paradise Druid. So, do we value the strike or the harpooner more, though? I'd rather have the strike, honestly. Yeah, I, I, think, I think you're right. I think you're right, yeah. We have enough uh, presence on board to just kill. Yeah. You just put him to five. Mm -hmm. he just, he's stuck with three lands and my Orioles in play. And realistically, we don't even need to attack on the next turn to kill him. Because we can just activate the Hellcat no, and just right, just conceding that. He knew it was up. That makes sense. Alright, so this is more or less the mirror. To an extent, right? Yeah, so I think the Vivian reads are really good. Yeah, that's what he's recommending. He's recommending both Vivian reads and the four coils. Yeah. And he's recommending to take out one Harpooner, one Sarkin, two Domrays. And then the two shocks.
Black. I think I might just be playing this list. It's pretty sweet. Instead of statue plus hell kite spring. I just don't know how I don't just can't don't know how good an immortal sun is. It's probably still really powerful. You have also the whole territory kind of mitigates those uh really awkward two uh two color mana bases. Yeah. I mean this is basically more of a Good old turn to the Warriors. That's exactly what you want to see. On this side, yeah. Up card. Yeah, card is a the, maybe design mistake. Isn't triple red? Me and mono reds are always never good. <laughs> it's not extremely hostile toward one crook, one toughness creatures. Nuts. Nice. We got a harpooner. So. I think we just attack with the chain whirler mm -hmm. and see what they where they want to go. I mean, they're just gonna probably just block. I don't think they're gonna block. I think we just play the Gruel Gate to uh, to uh, the like, Gate tab, and then we just play Spellbreaker. Yep. And just give it, make it a four four. Mm -hmm. And then on the next turn, we can play the Harpooner, kill the. We're we're gonna chain Willer because we're good at the game. Naturally. <laughs> oh, I want it. That's so gonna good. rip it off the top right now. Come on. Oh. Okay. So. I think we play the uh, harpooner kill the. I don't think that's really. I don't work. think that does anything. I'd rather just swing with the, the chain world. Yeah, that'll... all right, that's fair. Like he only has two cards. I'm just, it. I'm just trying to think of how, how we can like just push damage through at this point. Yeah, we'd be pushing damage through, but the problem is we're basically giving up a card. Uh, and we're giving up a card for like. No, yeah, he's not. He's, yeah. He's just going to be resetting himself. The chain, himself the next chain world is basically three free points of damage every turn. Exactly. Yeah. So like, I'd rather just sit on that and just keep pressuring him with it. Yeah, and save the harpoon for like a hellkite or something. Mm -hmm. Granted, we don't have a creature in our bin right now, but make sure you play a certain. <laughs> that right there, gentlemen, is a good card. Hopefully, that's not good. Uh, hey, that's really good. For the lava coil, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Shoot down that phoenix. Uh, did you just shoot down the dragon? No, you shoot down the phoenix and then just swing in with the. Uh, or I mean, I guess the we dragon eats the chain roller. Yeah. I don't know. I think we should just get rid of the phoenix, honestly. I'd rather get rid of the phoenix just because I I don't know if we're gonna have another good opportunity to get rid of it. Yeah, I mean we have four of our own, but. Magic and we have to just hold back now. No, no, you, I think no. You, atta you attack in with everything just right in his face. Okay. And then if he blocks the chain whirler, we just harpooner it. Yeah, he's at 12. We're worth attacking for 8. Uh, no, I should not dies. Yeah. Yeah, should not attack with the elf. No, I always read all that. I would, yeah, static ability. He still might not even block with this block the chain whirler. Oh wow. oh wow! He's just giving up. He's giving up the dragon. He's gonna get pulled out by it. A shock. Okay. Well. Yeah. We'll just pass them. Chandler having four strikes. Shit! I had a one-one, but mistakes were made. Yeah. I mean, with that sark in there, it's not gonna ever do a lot. That's fine. Oh, that's funny. Oh, wow, that's really cool, actually. You're a flash and crawl harpooner on your opponent's turn, and they definitely plus Sarkin. It's great. 
<laughs> that mid range is sweet. <laughs> I think we just have to attack the sun and we can make another uh, dragon. And if he blocks with the paradise room, that's just a free card for us. Yeah. So we can actually just lob a coil. So we don't play the harpooner, right? No, 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 no. Because he's gonna make a dragon next turn. I don't know. Because it eats I the. I don't know if he makes I don't a dragon. think he's going to. I, I think, think he's, he's just gonna, gonna play. Us. Yeah, he's just gonna eat us. Oh no, no, it tends us. Yeah, he's gonna ten us. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, it's not gonna be very powerful. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe over. And then I can do plus Dom right the other one as another blocker and then hit us for 10. He did plus Dom right? That was with plusing up. Oh, that was with yeah. it. Yeah, okay. But he said he's going to 10 us, though. Okay, so we got a lava coil. Uh, lava coil, the guardian, kill the, the Dom right? Yeah. And then we play the harpooner just to block. Yeah. Mm hmm. No, it's not. That. It's only a European spells. They have nothing. They have nothing? Well, that's just mighty unfortunate, is what it is. Why could they have striked us at some point? They did, right? Or they coiled us or whatever. But we uh, used it. So. We're killing Domri? Yeah. You have to kill Domri or else we'll die on the next turn. Because now he just puts us to one. Uh, yeah, we can block with Harpooner. Oh, yeah, has reach too. So. I think eight flyers. Yeah, yeah okay. that's. Yeah, that shuts off the Daredevils from attacking. Yeah. So we need to draw an answer. Uh, that should be game. Well, I'm not sure what we can I do. I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's anything we can draw to get out of it. That's our news. Our sergeant? Definitely not a land. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not, not a land. That's our just No, our sergeant would have put us at parity. But we don't play so. Sarkin. I think it. it's a mistake oh, we, to keep it in the matchup. We cut it, yeah. He's also playing the Llanowar Elf build, though. That, so he can power it out yeah, faster. Yeah, just mm -hmm. power it out, yeah. That's fine. I, I, we just didn't yeah, get a turn he, two. He, he's on, like, four Tron yeah, he wants to get a turn two Domri into a three turn three. Into so a yeah. turn three Sarkin. Yeah. Playing the Gruel Walkers. Yeah, he's playing four Sarkin. That's super good right there. Uh, I don't think we need that. No, I think we're just going to bottom it. We need to hit a land. Mm-hmm. Just play Rook on Craig Tap. I'm going to play the Mound Representative Shop. I mean, it's no difference. So, it is no difference. Right but... <laughs> oh, we have the shock. Oh, I think we strike that. I agree. Well, mm. you do the land, so I don't know. I'm fine with striking it. Yeah. I'd rather just keep them off mana and, and no, not give them don't do too much for us. I don't think us. you wanted to have a turn two Domery. Yeah. I just don't want to deal with anything like that. If he wants to run out for more things, that's fine. That's fine. Do we coil this? I think so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll be your second one, yeah. That answered that question for you. There's Tommy. Does he have a Please play one. Yeah, please. <laughs> Alright, so we're just playing Chain Roller, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And if you play, if. He plays Sarkin. Actually, this is really good for us because we can. Uh, oh, actually, you know, if he really plays Sarkin, it's really bad for us because he pluses the, the Sarkin and then minuses the. Uh... Oh, that's unfortunate. No, we can lob a quick one. Yeah. Oh, no, we can do that. That's really unfortunate. Still lob a quick one. 
Do we kill the Dominates? Yes. I feel like we do. Yeah. I'd love it if they cast their own spell. I love it if they love a cool thing at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I think. Uh, I think that's a wrap. They're going to be into a. Ooh. That's step one. Well, I guess slow things down. Now he has the lava coil. Oh, crap. Actually, it'd be lava coils. We just directly dirt all the time. Yeah, lava coil, lava coil. Still we still go to eight. <laughs> we still go to eight. Yeah, we're going to eight, and then we're going to four. <laughs> yeah. He's making it hasty. Oh, naturally. Yeah, but, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, uh, we're just, we're just, no, we're just straight. We're just going to five, yeah. We're just straight. Nice. You can, hey, you can play Vivian. Add to the Vivian read. Send a what? message. How, why wouldn't we play Daredevil, a coil the... That's, no, that's the proper and, play. Oh, we're, and then we're still dead. Yep. Yeah. That's why I said play the Vivian. Send a message. I'm just gonna no, we're just going to we're gonna go to one, and they didn't just... No, no, no we're just dead. Oh, no. Trample. It's no. Trample. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, we're just dead. Yeah, I know we are. My bad. Didn't know I had Trample. That's why I want to... Courage, courage messed up. That's why I want to shoot down the Phoenix for the memes. Sometimes you just gotta do it for the main. Sometimes you gotta let him know. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. Yeah. Game two, he just curved out perfectly, and then game three. He had better. We had all the removal spells he had. He had all the action, we just had no yeah. answers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I still think the striking the, uh, the elf was the elf was correct. Yeah, because anybody's because he had a boundary. Yeah, he would have got the boundary turn two, and then we would have. Play it off. They'll probably go to randomly with the game. Yeah. We would have played Chain earlier, and then he's just going to get out of control. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Seems fine. Yeah. Phoenix is like the best card in the deck. I think Phoenix is the best card in every deck Phoenix is in. Uh, I agree. They finally made the, the best Phoenix and Standard. Yeah, because for a long time they were bad. Oh, they're all, they've all been awful. Uh, there was the last good one before. The, there was Chandra's Phoenix from like Core thirteen. Yes, yeah, Chandra's Phoenix was good. It was also uh, well. I mean, uh, what's the bird we that people were trying to. Like, the two most recent Phoenixes were fine. Yeah, the two most recent Phoenixes have been very good. Actually, the three, three most recent. What was the third one? Because we have Arclight or Kindling. And then the one that returns for red. Flame Wreath? Yeah. Oh, from Born of the Gods? Yeah. Yeah. And that's not from Born of the Gods. That's from Favor Forged. Sure. The one from Born of the Gods is way worse. That one had Tribute. That beautiful mechanic. Tribute's such a bad mechanic. It was a good idea. I mean, it, sure. It was cool. It's a fun limited mechanic. Yeah, I mean, that's what it was. I, They just tried to make it relevant, and the Phoenix was just terrible. <laughs> so this is... Dreadhorde? Mm -hmm. I feel like this is Dreadhorde. I believe, yeah. That's the only deck that I know that plays Mastery Girl. They also don't play Lava Coils. So I don't know what's going on. He might be, be just jumping us. No, I think we're just dropping a phoenix and... Praying? Yeah, he just coiled our... See where that goes. Creature, so... I don't know what's happening. Well, this is what uh, Brandon was talking about. Were you saying that uh, the format's all over the place right now? Oh yeah, the format. The format's great. You can just play playing whatever you want, as long as you're playing good cards, which is most of the format. <laughs> right. Four jade lights. Yep. Oh, uh, it's jumped it's jumped red board, I guess. Okay. Nice, you have three lands in hand on the plus side. Yeah, but you also has the dread cord on top now. Right. But there's not like too terribly much to get back. Oh, it's at some point he could like lightning strike the Phoenix and then dread hoard it back. Right. <laughs> That's cute. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm just bringing out a lot of Phoenix. Yeah, I think it's just Phoenix plug crypt. 
can just swing it at him, right? I think so. He's not like I want to get his life lower because yeah, you you any... can't sit there against the Dreadhorde decks. If he ever finds like a wild growth walker to put in the bin with three jade lights, that's not good. Yeah, because he wants those in the graveyard. So I don't want to block, right? I mean, I don't know. It might have, depends on what you care about your life total. I think we're just gonna take this hit. Yeah, they don't have reach. I don't think. I haven't seen the jump version. What? <laughs> this deck's crazy. That looks sweet. I was like really hoping for a um a chain whirler there. Yeah, these are the matchups where the status chain whirler is kind of nutty. You took the statue the four four. Yeah, I think so. And then we can kill Sarkin and hit him. Yeah. Are we racing him? Like, the, he's swinging back for 10. Yeah, but we're going to be putting him to 12, and no, that's not enough, is it? No. No, we have, we have strike. That's enough. No, he's going to be off. Mm. Either way, we're doing the killing. Yeah, we're, I think we're... Yeah. We're killing Sarkin regardless. So we put him to, yeah, so we're going to be one short. So kill Sark and hit him? I th We can hold up strike. Yeah, yeah, that seems fine. If we draw a Hellcat off the top, we kill him. Or if he swings out a Spellbreaker. And that's why if he gets, like, super greedy, we can kill him too, right? Mm -hmm. Sarkin's five, Massacre Girl's five, and then Bolton. Yeah, I, I doubt he'd do that, but... I don't know, man. Let's see how on the edge he is. Wait, uh... No, Massacre Girl would kill the Phoenixes, but yeah, so I guess it... No, so it doesn't seem like a terrible play. No, it doesn't seem terrible, actually. If he doesn't put us on a strike and he just takes over the game. So it's two death triggers, two death triggers... Yeah, everything definitely dies. Probably just swinging first. Yep. Then wipe the board. He might be getting back. I, I, oh Ooh, no. That's unfortunate. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Do we bolt him here? Uh, yeah, because I think Shock alive draw. I think so. I don't think we're winning any the other way. What are we good at magic? Not quite. I think we're done. Are we? We don't have enough blockers for everything, do we? We can growth chamber, activate it, and then play a carpooner. And yeah. he's got five creatures. That's actually, we're still just dead, but... No, no. We, we, uh, if he has an explore creature, we're dead. So we can block the four things that oh, have yeah. two or more power. It's like... We're probably still pretty dead here. Right. Because if he wants to, he can just command the Dread Horde for just Massacre Girl and mm -hmm. clear the board. Or just Sark and kill us. It doesn't kill us immediately. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't face. Yeah. Yeah, he can't get back Sark because then he dies. Because he go, he'd go to four and we have two Phoenixes. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're dead. Okay, okay. Huh. So, so against what would have been the um, Dreadhorde deck. Show me Dreadhorde. Oh, he doesn't even have a recommendation for that one. For the, even the four color one? Yeah, I don't see a Dreadhorde. That's weird. Yeah. That is odd. That is really weird. That's like a good card. Or a good deck. Well, there is the... other version. Just the Gruel mid-range deck he had. Let's see if we can pull some information for that, what he would recommend. Because I think that one did have the uh, guide on... Uh,
for an hour. It's like a recent list. I was like really surprised. Well, either way. Um, we want the coils, right? Because we want to exile the stuff. Yeah. Coils, very good. Uh, I don't think Cinder Vine seemed worth it. I think Shivan Fire is fine. Yeah. I think that's it. I don't think you want anything else. Okay. Are we taking out the Domries? It feels like. Maybe. I don't know. The, the boards get kind of gummed up. Right. Like we saw. I think the Harpooners are bad. Right. And then maybe one Shock. Yeah, Shocks are. I mean, if we're bringing Shivan Fire, why would we be cutting Shock? Because Shivan Fire is better. Because we're just using it for the creatures, right? Most of the time. Yeah. That makes sense. Should we bring in a Vivian at all? Eh, maybe. Because we, we want card advantage, just like him, because he has that command yeah. I think one of us seems fine. Yeah, that seems fine. The question would be whether or not we want we should be cutting that Sarkin for a Vivian, but... I don't think so. I think he, his deck's kind of seems soft to flyers. Keep this pile. I think he played Mountain. I don't know if he's laying more off deck or not. If he is, we're going to straight it. Yeah, that's why I think. Just play the first. I want a status statue. Got the chain of this man so bad. Gosh, that seems like the greatest thing ever. It's so much fun. It never feels fair. Alright, we have all the removal spells. I would love some lands. Hey, if we just drew like three lands off the top, we're set. We got another branch walker. And he bend it. Can we just shiv and fire now? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It'd be, it was a th it's a three two. I think we should. No land. Yeah. I feel like just running out the dire fleet. Yeah. Just to have a creature on board and start mm -hmm. pressuring him because otherwise we're just gonna be sitting back here and letting them do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Although snap casting dark command the dreadhorde sounds hot. You have to have like eight mana. Yeah, I've never said it's good. Well, we get to have a two for one at least. Nice. Make a dragon, we bolt it, and then we kill Sarkin. Mm hmm. And also hit him for two. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Oops. Love Coil's not a warrior spell. That's ridiculous. A warrior creature spell. Still would really like some lands. Tell you what. <laughs> Even just like another one so we can like double spell. Another one. Alright, we'll do, do the same thing. Do it again. Yeah. Run it back. You can have another Sarkin, we'll have another level coil. Nice. Do we shock to Leo Lightning Strike? Like, what are we trying to hit? I don't, I, I don't think. We care about our life, but we're still at 20, right? So, I don't know how relevant taking the two is compared to leaving it up. Sure, I'll shot. 
Because I'm going to bank on the fact that our deck's going to give us a land, and we're going to yeah. have to drop the Vivian or the right. card fight next turn. Because they play something, we strike it, and if we draw a land, because we're good at magic, we just play our, one of our five drops. Mm hmm. Yeah, just let him explore. Two oh, lands. Yes. Can we just take him out right now? I think so. Just use our mana. Right, because if we don't draw land, we're just going to be activating the mm -hmm. Duder anyway. Nice. We're good. I think just go to Hellkite, honestly. Yeah. Give it haste. Oh, no, I was going to... Are you going to play Vivian? Yeah, I was going to play Vivian. Oh, either one's fine. Because then if we haste next turn, it'll be lethal. Yeah, that's true. So I put in my hand with this one, right? Yeah, we we'll just take the chain board. Pass opponent, what do you got? Uh, he doesn't have a war with Walker in the bin, so the King of Dreadboard doesn't do anything. Is it Domney? That doesn't do anything. Well, he doesn't know that he's dead. He doesn't know he's dead. Nice. Do we play a Lana Ralph? I don't know why I'm so excited if we play Lana Ralph, just so I can go. You just want a Chain Whirler that bad? <laughs> I just love the idea, but... It feels good every time. You just... <sighs> um... So we just... He's dead. Hellkang. Hellkang. Make it a speedy boy. Yep. He knows what's up. Pony conceded to our amazing powers. <laughs> We drew lane five. They don't really seem to have anything for a war boss, too. By the way, uh, they just no. They have the explore creatures. Yeah, which will then just make the yeah. It makes the one one and the two twos never attacking either. Yeah. Yeah, the war boss is basically like four control in the walkers decks. Oh, you play Hannah? Mm -hmm. Feeling better after a head injury? I have a headache, so that's work. Probably don't have concussion. That's good. That's a, that's a plus. Probably. Probably. Probs. I mean, I also work in a hospital tonight, so if I do... You're right there. We're all I set. No issues. <laughs> I'm gonna like bring my laptop to Roanoke again because I'm gonna try to knock on some homework, but I'm still pretty sure I'm gonna have homework I need to work on. Mm -hmm. And then like on the road, that drive down, like I just it's such a long time not to do stuff. Yeah. Like, I feel like I need to at that point. I'm bringing my laptop with me. Oh no, I think Vintage Cube is done the day we leave. Dang. Oh, so that'd be perfect for the road down. Yeah. Maybe it extends through like the eighth. Because I love me some vintage. <laughs> We're all gonna go on. Danny will still be here. So you can call Danny up. <laughs> Do we? Are we gonna fight? Is that how this good fight's gonna start? Yes. <laughs> that's, 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 that's fair. That's what's gonna start. That's fair. The Vintage Cube ends the day we leave, but Modern Horizons events go up the day we leave. Oh, cool. So we can, I can just jam Modern Horizons the way down. Yeah, <laughs> which, which is one we've done all weekend anyway, so we'll just do it. Assuming I would be going. Oh, really? So I have, like, a week off. Yeah. Because I'm going to Vegas. That's because, like, I asked for the days off, too, for it, and then I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'll go. And I'm like, I already have the days off. I might as well go. I have the days off from both jobs. I have a few dates, like for Saturday tournaments. I like said that, that Thursday's my birthday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
They're killing our lieutenant? Okay, no. Well, later on we can dire plate. Am I just spell breaking the Varaska down to one? I feel like that's the correct I one. think so. You don't want to get too much value out of it. That card's nuts, by the way. With the Varaska? Yeah. He was very undervalued in the first, in the, like, the last two formats. Uh, like, this plays like a one or two of them to go guardian mid range decks, but. Yeah. Remember, I played, I was impressed by it. Like, any, any walker that pluses two for a relevant ability is, like, pretty powerful. Right. Okay, four, four. Plus, yeah, coil. We can kill both of them. Yeah, if, if they plus, if he just minuses down, plus up Slavraska, we're solid. Yeah, this is really good for us. Nice. What do you even put a cast on it to do that? Sweet to uh, yeah, dirt all that later. Professionals. Does the, the plus four plus four ever get used? <laughs> yeah, in longer games. Yeah. Like, it comes up more often if you're playing like four of them, so you get to see it more often, but... That's unfortunate. Yeah, you get to take out Spellbreaker. Did Andrew get the pizza? I think we just shiv and fire and then run out the phoenix. Yeah, that seems seems good. He has three cards in hand. We're pretty far ahead on board. Like the command isn't even that good here. I mean I mean, it's good. It's good, but he loses a ton of life. Yeah, that, that's when it gets really scary when they have a walker. I uh, think I just Dire Fleet cast it down. I don't know if he, does he, have any, he doesn't have any explore creatures in his hand, does he? No. Oh, then yeah, that seems fine. Two mana off from hitting his Dreadhorde. Put him at 10. Yeah, this, this seems really good. Please tell me it's a lightning strike. No, it's a trophy. Sure. It's almost better. If we split up into two cars, do we? Who's going to be in what car? Huh? If we split up into two cars, who's going to be the cars? Well, I figured that um, Nick and Anders would want to be in the same car. Yeah, I'm assuming so. And then... Um, really I imagine bad. Jeff would want to ride with me, because he doesn't know you guys as well. Yeah. So then it's just up to you and Andrew. Mm -hmm. Unless they want to just do the two of them, and then it's four of us. Four of us. I'd also be fine with that. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll figure it out. There was other people that were asking us if they might get us to ride down with us too, so. Oh, was there? Who else uh, was there asking? 
Will Strassler was talking about it. I heard him talking last Wednesday that he was running down with someone else. If he's, uh, yeah, he was a little unsure if he had, uh, he didn't want to, like, increase his drives or make things, like, awkward if I didn't get, like, picked up or anything, so I think mm-hmm. that's why he was talking about it. Opponents really delivering. Tank, I think he really wants to drive over here. Yep. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. Gets our Phoenix. That's pretty bad for us. I think he moves that he match. He goes into our graveyard, though, right, when it dies? Uh, yeah. So then when it's our upkeep, we get it back? Yep, so if we kill it, which we can't. We can, once we get black. Yeah. That's not it. See, this plus four, plus four is relevant, no? Yeah. We're just, <laughs> we're just swinging with it, right? Yeah, you just swing it at his face. It's lethal. Oh. Some You're a monster. I didn't have enough hands. You stacked them all. You could have stacked one more. It was, <laughs> it was hard. So where are we at? Game three against Jun Dreadhorde. Hmm. We're just swinging the face right now? Yeah, we're swinging at the face. They're at five. So if they block, we can pump. If they double block, I guess we have to decide how we want to approach it from there. We can't give a death touch and plus one plus one. We still lose him, but we get to take out both their creatures, but then they get their phoenix back. Which at that point doesn't seem worth it. And what can we pump it up to? Uh, we it's can plus four, plus four, right? Yeah. So he'd be a six seven. Effectively then, a six six. Yeah, and then we'd be giving the plus one plus one, just to kill both of them. But doesn't really seem worth it. I no. think we just kill the dragon. Yeah. Attack with the f- uh, Daredevil just because we can give it plus one plus one in Death Touch. I don't think it's worth it. No, because he's just gonna block it with the Walker. Right. What happened to our Phoenix? Oh, we should have killed the Phoenix. We should have just killed the phoenix, not the dragon, because then we'd be getting it back. Is that our phoenix? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why don't we just pop it with the status? Because we don't have black. Black right yeah. yeah, we should have. We should have blocked. We should have killed the phoenix, not the dragon, because then we would have been getting a phoenix back on our turn, and then we would have killed Sarkin. That's really Yikes. unfortunate. Okay, we're just passing it down. Really want a chain roller. Yeah. Let's 
Give me a tear. Give me a tear. Damn, pull it out. Give me a tear. No, no, I, I'm getting a tear, dude. Give me a tear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he has some up here. I'll get some for Hannah, too. Because you know it's a monster. First, she takes my pizza, then my diet. All right, chain whirler, win the game. One time. Miracle. One time. One time. You gotta rip it. Miracle. Oh, you gotta do it. Here's your pinch. Miracle. Miracle. Team switch. Tangle. Miracle. One time. Yeah, yeah, it was the correct play. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. we're still dead. Or not? Mmm. Yeah. I think we just swing the. Uh, no, can't swing the chain whirler or the. Uh, actually, hear me out on this. Swing with the daredevil targeting Sarkin mm -hmm. in response to the trigger. Just stay. Uh, stay set. I don't think that's worth it, because then they just block with the wild growth, right? That's fine, though, because they're not gaining any life. And we still have another one. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where if they gain, if they gain, get one explore creature, we pretty much get blown out of the game. These are rules, though. Well. <laughs> These are rules, though. Well. You get blown out of the game right there. Yeah. Because yeah, if he animates the Sark, then they're screwed. Uh, so he sw animates Sarkin, swings, we use our Phoenix to block their Phoenix, take eight, we get both Phoenix back and kill him. Yeah. Hopefully. Unless we're dead here. We're dead. Nope. Give it plus one, plus one, and death touch. That, that doesn't do anything. No, no, it's a you 4 three. It, No! Yeah, we should have had two, both Phoenixes in play, so that's a misplay that cost us the game. Yep, definitely. Unfortunate. Rants. While well, I was waiting for the pizza, I found a super sweet Gruel Super Friends deck. We couldn't kill Sargon. Uh, we didn't have the uh, black mana. Super Friends. Is it the... <coughs> it's the four star from deck, right? No, it's three. Okay. Are we four, one, and two? Yeah, one and two. We should be two and one. You're in on this deck? Yeah, this is green, red, circle. You're in? This one? Hey, I'm in. It's got both lines. Which one's doing what? That screen right there does nothing. That's a, that's a duplicate screen right now. This is the okay. screen that has magic on there, and this is the all the other information. Okay. You used to. I was trying to figure out what that one was. Okay. Uh, I just used that. So that's where my PS4 is hooked up to. And I use it for when like, I'm watching TV. It's my third monitor for like just watching stuff. Okay. It's usually not a duplicate screen. Usually it's like. Um, I just have three monitors so that okay. I can. Like, has the setup that I agree my head. Mm. Uh, I want to get up. A PC, but you're too poor. Right? You're too poor also less space for my house. Maybe in the house I made with two rooms. I wish I had my own shoe rack. I'll have a tie rack mounted. <laughs> nice. Yes, do nice. We, That's we, actually really nice. nice. We, we saw the tie rack too. It was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's a, um, it's a walking closet back there. The naturally. <laughs> so. And a dreams of a walking closet. It is pretty dope. Let's be fair, if it's a walking closet, find my walking closet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can lose more magic cards in it. <laughs> Magical closet. <laughs> that one's a whole another adventure. It's a whole new Just imagine if we move. I think of a treasure <laughs> Yeah, I know. Find enough cards to make a down payment on the house. 
accurate. <laughs> you found like 600 just in that small pile you found. Yeah, I know. It was actually 600. Yeah, it was <laughs> actual. He's like, oh, like $200 worth my image. There was a place in Vanderbilt in a cavern in there. That was way more than $200 on its own. In a place with a black cleaner. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> no, it does, doesn't happen. Well, you, you went through the closet and just found a place out of Coco's. Remember that? That was in one of the boxes. Oh, it was in a box. My, yeah. my apologies. <laughs> that was in one of the boxes. And Hannah, Hannah was going through the box, stripped the closet. Like, for hours trying to find uh, what copy is done against the Reveler. I'm like, it's in there. It's in there. As soon as we get home, grab this I was so mad. go into this one box, grab this little stack. Oh, there it is. I spent no joke an hour and a half on this card. It'll take me less than five minutes. No, we were, look, uh, we were looking for scuttling doom engines. Like and we found a place of Harpooner here or Chain Lunar? Uh, uh, Asper? I think we just run out the Harpooner. Oh, wait, no, no, no. If he's get playing Esper, he might have, um, what you call it, Thief of Sanity. In that case, uh, I just Chain Whirler. yeah, I would just play Chain Whirler. Deals him a point, and we have the 3-3 three, three in play. Yeah. The I first strike is irrelevant, actually. We can't, uh, we can't, we don't know if he's playing Esper here or whatever control yet. Yeah. Thought erasure. That sucks. Still doesn't tell us what he's playing. Doesn't really do anything, because he's just going to take a rekindling Phoenix. Yeah, that's pretty good. They, they, they you just got to concede. <laughs> I would. I want to alarm you there, but that was actually a uh, body razor concede again. So that's how I, good. He he probably didn't have land three, and he's like, he probably's like, oh, he's might as well get more information. Probably just wanted more information. Yeah. 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 All right. So this one. That's really funny. I think you definitely bring in the Vivians. Yeah, they, they're recommending both Vivians. We, we the more bosses. We can't really. We don't want to oversize. We don't know if he's on Esper Hero or Esper Control. Yeah. Okay. Well, in both cases, he's recommending the War Bosses. Yeah, I, would, I would bring in the War Bosses and the Vivians for sure. Mm -hmm. oh. I think that's about all. Where it changes so. is uh, if so we're against brains. Hero, he's recommending the Coils yep. and the Collision. If he's uh, if we're against the uh, Control, yeah, then he's Center only brains. recommending the Spyglass. Yeah. Do they not want Center Blinds against Esper? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh. So either way, we're bringing in the Collision. So let's grab that. And instead of bringing in both... Um, uh, whether it's split between the spyglass or the coil, because we don't know. Let's just bring in one coil, and then we'll just do it like that. He's recommending a cutting of the down rays. And then the Sarkin. Two strikes. And two statuses. If we were against Esper Control straight up, he would actually cut all three statuses, two shocks, one strike, and one chain whirler. So I'm okay with doing this setup, and then we'll just start, once we figure out what he's on, we'll make accommodations. Hold my phone, son. I got work to do. <laughs> you gonna just get more pizza? I'm gonna go get more pizza. It's a little awkward, but I'm keeping it. Yeah. It's not awful. Let me just turn to a growth chamber and I'll turn to a chamber. Really. Your door is terrible. Yeah. I like the screw on it actually came out a while back and like I like never like calling maintenance to help me with anything. So I just because I just don't like bothering them. So Yeah, that's why we that's why we just call Alex over. Apparently <laughs> Alex Alex is finished anything. Handyman is is does he work at just the store? I think so. Okay. I think so. That's a pretty good job. Yeah, I was really upset when I found that. It was like, I was there at the shield, and he's like, yeah, this is my last day. I'm like, oh no. My, my other Noah. I still don't know if it's Esper Control or Esper Hero. Well, War Boss will take care of the temporary. Yeah, House. War Boss is so good here. No, I was just working at the zoo the other day, and I saw Alex and his wife biking by. They said they bike there a lot. It's their nice trail. Getting anywhere. Absolutely not. I another green source. Mm 
they tough right now? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Okay, so this is a hero. No more pizza. I know it's not. That's fine. That's a bummer. Well, we can growth the chamber at least, and just make them do. Yeah. Swinging with the growth chamber at Tefri, right? Yeah. I think you just play Guildgate Tap and play an adapt another growth chamber. Gonna get buried on this Tefer if you don't feel it soon. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh boy, that's the third one. Just gonna bounce on Jake and Rocky over here. Yeah, we're just slowly. Chain Whirler off the top. I think we just gotta slam the Dean Reed. And uh, hope it resolves in plus to find Chain Whirler. Not unreasonable. Let's swing at Big Tefri first. Yep. I actually don't mind swinging with the team. Okay. Just get, because it's realistically once the ultimates, the game's over. Are we sending the small ones at Little Tefri? Um, or everything? I don't think so. We're not playing at instant speed this game. Okay. So, so we're sending that, everything at Big Tefri. Yeah, we just want to take at least a couple points off Big Tefri. Yep, he's going to block him back. He's going to lose two guys. So now we're just back at parity with him. And it was That's Jake, right? Yep. Good shit, too. Good shit, kind of sucks, but... Jack three, huh? I didn't know. I'm just saying. Are you sure? Yeah. If he plays Narsa, he's he bamboozled me. I don't know what he goes for. Oh, that's spicy. Yeah, that's that's the yeah, game, game three Dorian. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Probably a good sideboard card. Is that two two? Two three. Two three. Mm -hmm. It's a neat card. I think it, is it reasonable to just shoot it down with the uh, the Vipian Reed? Oh. And then just play the Chain Whirler and swing. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 we have the other Vivian, so it's probably fine.
And then we're just swinging. Yeah, I'll swing everything with big tapper. Because he had in hand. He's got five cards and he's just executed. I don't know. Lions? Play something. That's pretty good. Let's go. Woo, baby! Huh. That's mildly unfortunate. I don't think he even blocks here. I think he just lets Teffrey take the two. No, that's fine too. Jump block. Yeah. Ooh. I think we just played both growth chambers. You think running out both? I don't think I don't find any sense in not playing them at this point. We just need to put some pressure into play. If they Kai's are after this, we'll leave. Yeah, so I don't want to get Kai's are so I'd rather just like. They, I think It's just this hero. We just can't get any damage through from the hero. Um, I think we just play Vivian and look for another copy of uh, Chain Warmer. Spellbreakers. I think I'd take Phoenix. Yeah, I think you just take Phoenix because he's got more fires. You just need to get some sort of damage through. Can you just attack a bit to free? Yeah. Should have taken the, should have took the daredevil, and then I would have been able to just call a ratio. Yeah, or D spark. D spark. I would have been able to hit the tough frame. Yeah, that was a mistake. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're swinging. Yeah, I think you go. Um, we're kindling Phoenix at Big to Fury, and everything else at Little to Fury. Good to uh, shuffle up the decks a little bit and keep the growth, one growth trade right in hand. Sure. I think the, it comes down to a race with the Vivian Retail at this point. Right. So I think I might have played the other creature. Mm. Yeah, see, so he's tucking Vivian because he, he has no answer to it. Probably it's another big tipper in him by now, but, which is, yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. But. Unless he's got another spell, it's still gonna die. I guess he can just tuck another creature. Then or he has a D spark for the uh, the Phoenix. Maybe I thought it really sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, this 
Hogwarts Heroes put in a lot of work. Right. Anything else I've done? You should just commit everything to killing Tefri yeah. at this point. To kill Tefri? Well, he, it's not doing it. Uh, well, I guess we can kill Tefri. That'd be a lot. I just think he's getting way too much value off of it, and he's digging. He's trying to dig for an answer. I mean, he already has all the answers he needs. Does he? Can't be this ridiculous. The next turn, and he knows next turn we're getting Vivian Reed. Right. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, when he got F6 and he was apparently just dead, nothing. It was just like that Teferi was going to be the way he was dead and get back in the game. Don't worry about it. His opponent uh, conceded because he drew six lands with Teferi in a row. Oh my god. He's like, I'm dead. And we killed the Teferi, and then the next turn we'd have Vivian Reed on the top that he knew of. Mm -hmm. Simply did. He was just actual factual. Yeah, okay. uh, it should be three one right now, but we're two two. We'll see if we can make this a break even league. That's unfortunate for our opponent. <laughs> a little bit, mildly. That we're kindling Phoenix. Kill him. Need a despart. That's how you beat the fairy. You just have him make him draw lands off the top. <laughs> yeah, and actually, what's really funny is our pun on the uh, the not grabbing the uh, daredevil. Didn't matter because he had nothing in hand. But relevance. Oh yeah, it's still a correct play. <laughs> we do grab the chain roller instead. Because we were like, oh, we need to just dig for another chain roller. I was like, oh, chain roller, great, click. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, oh, if there was a daredevil right next to it, I was like, uh, I don't. Daredevil's just better because they have D-Spark grave. Okay. I think this hand is actually keepable. It's keepable. Yeah, sure. We get we'll one. Get, we get draw. one land. We go nuts. We're on the draw. Oh baby! I'm I'm ready. Four mana. Here we come. Please be something we're gonna lose to it. Sure. Yeah, I'm all right. Just strike it down. Mm -hmm. Oh, better to shock it. Shock it down. Double dash it. Oh, wait, wrong format. Triple dash shot. <laughs> sure. Okay, he doesn't have another lamp. That's great. Good thing it. Oh, we did. Ooh, so. So there's the we line. Just name warrior and play chain roller. Okay. Well, so there's that line that seems very reasonable. It is, but I want it. And then I wanted the other line that's not reasonable. Concession. This is the concession one. It might be. No. You never know with these chain rollers sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes they're whirling chains, other times they're whirling concessions. Sure. 
Lined up the stage away. Ah, uh, ye old shock light the stage. Concede. What did he hit? I'm gonna light up. He, so he's lit it. Oh, he's pulling a Noah. Yeah, digging for answers that don't exist. Yeah. Have a good one. Mm-hmm. Did you guys run separately? She's oh, wait, she has a book. You're leaving? No, not now. I'm going to take this one. Why are you leaving? So I can sleep. Sleep is for a week. I slept for four hours yesterday, so you're drunk till one. For the week. That's what's right, though. He's going to strike this chain weller. And I'm going to stab, so. I like it. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. what happens if he has the status? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he can be player on status. Oh, finish your apartment. No, no, no. He's going to go for the power. He's going to try and kill Boundary. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <coughs> no, that's funny. No, I'm pretty sure he's just shooting Boundary and then he's going to Wizards Lightning the world. Right? <gasps> <laughs> Get him! He's like, I didn't play around it. I concede, <laughs> please. I know opponent. Who does things like this? Shame concede. <laughs> it's a 5 4 blizzard. He concedes. Hit us in the shock to it, though. That's sweet. Good two for two. Alright, so well, we, no, just, we just played Rule Spellbreaker. Well, now we can't count it as Rule Spellbreaker. Yeah, we just played Rule Spellbreaker and make it a 4 4. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, Lady Strike. I think so. I'd rather not get this. Oh, excuse me, I'm five. You would rather what? I'd rather not get the growth chamber. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold strike. Yeah, we're we're fine. We're at seventeen. We're at seventeen to their twelve. They have one card in hand and a, <coughs> and a pyromancer. They don't have a. That's fine. I also didn't have a card advantage. That's a mistake. That's one. Dark cast. Yeah, they lose another card. They lost one immediately. I think you just strike that and well. Uh, I'm actually thinking about just using Domery Domery. Yeah, Domery. Domery. That's, that's what I was thinking. It. Yep. Because yeah. Domery's going to die to Chandra anyway. Most likely. Or we plus to get the... No, because no, Chandra, to... Domery's going to die. Yeah, so he's going he's gonna to make the Chandra probably kill the Domery. He can. Yes, he can. No, he oh, he affects. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We did the Chandra. The Chandra's gonna kill itself. Yeah, 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 no, right. do, dude, don't even attack the Chandra. Just attack, attack him. If you lightning strike, attack him. Dies. Why am I not attacking? Because you lightning strike the Chandra and it dies. Oh, okay. That yeah. seems ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it dies to itself. I mean, this is it's, so stupid. It's I love this mechanic. interaction. This is why Chandra is worse than Frenzy. <laughs> It's so stupid. Yeah, it doesn't make, yeah, because it says turn opponent or any walker. Oh, I guess it can kill Domri. They can. Yeah. Domri doesn't have If Domri doesn't have oh. This isn't July. See, I'm still correct. You guys suck. <laughs> Andrew wanted it. I wanted it so bad. You guys suck. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted it. Play Harpooner. They would have nothing right now. We would, we would lost a Domri like normal. Oh my gosh. I'm just running out the Harpooner. Yeah, just yeah. Harpooner. He's dead either way. <laughs> It's he, over. If he gets, he's gonna plus and play a frenzy version of fucking die. Yeah, there's a chance we lose here. Of no, this. nonsense, nonsense, mm. nonsense. We don't. He's gonna plus reveal a mountain, and we're gonna be like, mm. fun. Chain whirler. Reasonable. It's a good start to him winning. He wouldn't have the chain whirler. Right here. <laughs> He's not gonna attack. Beautiful. So we just attack with the Gruul Spellbreaker. At him? Or at Chandra? Chandra. The Chandra that should be dead? <laughs> that was my bad. Go ahead, Paul. I think he double blocks here. Did he double what? blocks? What? Uh, we just plus and kill Chandra. No, no, no. Now it actually kills himself. Kills himself. There's no other walker from the target. Oh, okay. Because he would trample. <laughs> now it works. There we go. 
The interaction works. No, no he can't turn it. No, he can't turn it. Yeah, nah, we're in good shape. I'm running out of Phoenix. <laughs> and we're gonna see we it. are so good at standard, guys. Just, <laughs> we're not good at standard. We're terrible at standard. We just made a play mistake. Uh, so we, made, we made a few. This, this it's week. fine. It's fine. We're, that's why we're learning. That's why we're doing this. That's why I play Mario. Right. So we just take. I can't make play mistakes with Mario. Right. Right. That's actually pretty hard to play Mario. Right. Little greedy keeps. You're like, oh, one land, firebrand, light on the stage, you just snap you, keep. You look at your, your hand. You look at your hand. It's like, well, you hit a straight fire. <laughs> you always, you always <laughs> keep those one land, firebrand, light on the stage. Your opponent goes a one two. And you're like, fuck, game's over. You know what uh, you need to do? You play foot like feet. <laughs> so obnoxious. <laughs> he is mono red. Uh, he is. He's dead. He has nothing. Yeah, no, he's gonna kill the elemental. You That's got fine. it. Oh, I didn't see that he killed the chicken. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. He striped it. It's fine. He's just dead because we have the thing against plus one plus one. Oh no! He, oh yeah, that also. I want the. I, no, I want no, the. No, no, no. Okay. I want no. It. Oh yeah, we're BMing him. We're daredeviling with him. Has he seen Daredevil yet, though? No. Okay, then we shouldn't do it. Damn it! He has seen the stats. I hate strictly correct plays. It's like when I was playing Escape Fifth with Tron, and I, I'm like. Oh, and we'll call him. It just ended the game. Ended the game Wait, didn't we beat him game one anyway? This was, this was game one. Yeah, this was game one. Oh, is it? Whatever. I'm like, oh, I had to call the escape shift player. It's going to be So sweet. we bring in the Shiv and Fire and the four lava coils. Uh, Shiv and Fire and four lava coils. And we take out the statuses. Uh, no, two statuses. Two statuses, Sarkon, and Dover. Like, that you can still blow up a frenzy. So, we didn't see Frenzy yet, so. Well, he's not playing Frenzy, he's just not playing a good ball of that day. I don't know, man. People will do what they want to do. Who am I to judge them? Did you play against John Dreadhorde? This game is fine. fine. He's going to so, kill stuff and see if Growth Chamber can win us the game? I you sure hope so. Do you shock the fire brand? No. It always feels bad, so I wouldn't. Like, do we shock right now to prevent her from using light up the stage? Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. I can keep the one land fire brand for the one land light stage. Can we lava coil this one? Okay. Yes. yes. Very much so. Cannot beat that card. Steam kit. Messed up magic. Oh, here it is. Oh, the yeah. actual shock and Woo! Woo! Gotta love it. And you got, you got a land. A land and a Vincino. Ooh, that's a good start. Mm, do we run out the growth chamber at this point? Oh, uh, kind of have to. I, don't wanna I think wanna, we're kind of committed to. I don't want to sit here and do nothing. Yeah, we just hold up status. Slash shock. Oh, we can, we're basically just holding up status in case he uses shock. Speaking about it. Yeah. Kind then of a Shino. Lock of course. That's a punch. Not sure. He never moved that off the time. Probably not. We're gonna get a chain wall. That's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we got we didn't get a chain. We're gonna harpoon. It's fine. I think we're still running it out. Yeah. You know I haven't seen in a while? My dragon baby. Come on. That's why we need to play one one, I think. I think Sorkin's is too powerful. No, no. Start. Oh, they're both dragon babies. Yeah, I'm also there, I'm not. Start. Good old hell kite. Come on! Girl spellbreaker, right off the top. <laughs> right off the shock top. The 
I, I shocked the dumb thing. Yeah, just so we can make sure we have a solid hit. Yeah. And what's going to happen is we're just going to rip a spell spellbreaker <laughs> and just kill Trump. Right? <laughs> oh, that's, well, you know what? When he asked for it, I think you put a counter on it. I think. Counter on it or kill Chandra? I think first attack the Chandra before we do anything. Before what? We could kill no, the Chandra. Yeah, we can kill the Chandra. Oh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we kill the Chandra. I think we just yeah, kill the Chandra. Okay. Yeah. I want, I want the ping. <sighs> I do want the pings. I want the fork bolt so bad. No, don't do it. Haste! Haste! Fine. Hasty dragon. No! The fork bolts! You can't meet the fork bolts. Can't beat up for, for a flying dragon. Either. I strongly disagree. He, li sh he literally lava coiled the creature earlier. Previous, it's fine. He's just one of them. <laughs> no. <laughs> it worked, Ted. You're playing red and standard. You have four in the sideboard. You're back. Nonsense. You're mistaken. Oh, he's just passing turns. See, we're in your chain. Oh yeah, perfect. What are you perfect? We're attacking him for seven. Yep. And then shape. we can status when he goes for the lava coil of the Hawkeye. It's perfect. Yeah, it's we're in good shape. Because we're just ridiculous like that. Because they never see it coming when you need a straight fire. <laughs> I assume they just have nothing. I assume their hand is literally all lands. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, they're just dead. We just tag for seven. Play a chain roller. Say, you're done. Shock. That's unfortunate. Now we could just play status, which I think is cool. <laughs> Clearly, it doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Uh, they never played on combat tricks. Oh my oh, god! Yes. Woo! The classic two for one. The value. That was a two. That was a two for two. It's whatever. <laughs> Alright. I think you might be just mistaken, bro. It's okay. I think you're just wrong. No, you won't be mistaken. I think you're mistaken. <coughs> <laughs> Alright, they think they're alive, but they're actually dead. Hey, <coughs> hey at least with this envy, you're playing a real deck in standard. Pirates were sweet! Uh, they, that's, uh, that's what they were. They were sweet. <laughs> they were cool. No, it would have worked if I drew more than two lands. I don't know. Game. I don't know. I'm like, I'm like, I got this three lander. I'm solid. I'm good. And then I draw no lands the rest of the game, and I'm like, you don't need three lands. Yeah. All yeah. right. Can we finish that. Three and two. I'll take it. Should have been four one. Should have been four one. So we're playing bad now. Yeah. If I can get a list, Five. I'm going to make a quick break so I can run to the bathroom, guys. And then I'll be back with uh, another link. We're gonna switch over to um, we're gonna switch over to Bant Midrange. Yeah. Uh, let's see.